As Canon continues to evolve its mirrorless R-series system, two highly anticipated releases are poised to make waves in 2025, the Canon EOS R6 Mark III and the Canon EOS R3 Mark II. While both are built on the foundation of Canon's cutting-edge imaging technologies, they cater to entirely different user bases. On one end, the R6 Mark III is shaping up to be a powerful, compact camera perfect for hybrid creators and enthusiast photographers. On the other, the R3 Mark II is expected to be a rugged professional machine designed for action, wildlife, and photojournalism, where every frame counts. Though both models are part of Canon's mirrorless ecosystem and share some core philosophies around color science, autofocus, and video performance, the contrast in design, specs, and target audience could not be more striking. In this detailed comparison, we'll break down what each camera is likely to offer, from resolution and speed to video capabilities, body design, pricing, and who each model is really meant for. The Canon EOS R6 Mark II already set a high standard with its 24.2 MP full-frame sensor, blazing fast 40 FPS electronic shutter bursts, and advanced dual-pixel CMOS AF2 system. Now, the R6 Mark III is expected to build on that success while pushing further into higher resolution territory and adding powerful tools for both photography and video creation. Canon is reportedly planning to bump the resolution of the R6 III to somewhere between 30 MP and 32 MP. This marks a significant step forward for creators who need more detail for large prints, tighter crops, or higher fidelity in commercial and landscape photography. Importantly, this resolution upgrade is not expected to come at the cost of low-light performance, which has been a strong suit in previous R-series models. Alongside improved resolution, we can expect enhancements in dynamic range, color accuracy, and high ISO performance, giving shooters more confidence in varied lighting situations, from golden hour portraits to dimly lit receptions. Canon's autofocus system is already among the best in the industry, and the R6 III could make it even better. Leveraging Canon's deep learning algorithms, the camera is likely to bring smarter subject tracking with expanded recognition categories. In addition to human faces, eyes, animals and vehicles, we could see even more refined detection for subjects like insects, aircraft, motorcycles and even sports gear. This upgrade would be a huge advantage for wildlife shooters, event photographers and sports enthusiasts looking for precision in fast-paced, unpredictable environments. For videographers and hybrid shooters, the R6 Mark III may be one of Canon's most balanced offerings yet. It's rumored to include 4K at 120fps, a major improvement from the already impressive oversampled 4K 60p from its predecessor. This means smoother slow motion footage without compromising sharpness or color quality. Some sources suggest Canon might even introduce internal 6K recording in PRAWS format or enable external RAW output via HDMI features typically reserved for cinema cameras. If true, this would place the R6 III well ahead of most competitors in its class. In body image, stabilization IBIS is also expected to see a boost, potentially up to eight stops, when paired with optically stabilized lenses. This will be a game changer for handheld shooting, both for video and stills, especially in low light environments or while traveling light. The R6 II improved on the thermal limitations of the original R6, but the Mark III is rumored to feature even better heat dissipation, possibly allowing for longer continuous video recording times. Improved internal layout and passive cooling solutions could eliminate most overheating concerns during extended shoots. We also anticipate a brighter and higher resolution electronic viewfinder EVF, a more responsive articulating touchscreen, and dual card slots, most likely one CFEXPRESS Type-A and one UHS-2 SD, providing a balance between speed and affordability. Stepping into professional territory, the Canon EOS R3 Mark II is not just an upgrade, it's expected to redefine performance standards for action, wildlife, and press photography. The original EOS R3 was already a marvel with its 24MP stacked sensor, 30fps raw bursts, and game-changing eye control AF. But the Mark II could take everything a step further, or even two. One of the most exciting rumors surrounding the R3 II is the potential inclusion of a global shutter sensor. If Canon delivers on this, it would eliminate rolling shutter distortion entirely, allowing photographers to capture fast-moving subjects with perfect geometric accuracy, even using an electronic shutter. 
Pair that with a higher resolution stacked sensor, possibly 30MP or more, and you're looking at a camera that could outperform anything else in its class, including Sony's A93 and Nikon's high-speed offerings. The R3 Mark II might also support 60fps raw bursts with full AF and E-tracking, giving professionals an unmatched level of responsiveness. In high-speed sports or wildlife settings, this could mean capturing the exact right frame with total confidence. Canon's Eye Control AF, which allows photographers to move focus points simply by looking through the EVF, is also likely to return, this time with faster response times, better calibration, and broader compatibility with more eye shapes and glasses. As expected from Canon's flagship line, the U32 will likely maintain the integrated vertical grip design built around a weather-sealed magnesium alloy chassis. It will continue to use the high-capacity LP19 battery, which offers long-lasting power for extended shoots in remote or demanding environments. For storage, we expect dual CIF Express Type B slots, allowing simultaneous high-speed capture and redundancy. The EVF might also get an upgrade, potentially to a 9 million dot resolution with 120Hz refresh rate, ensuring blackout-free viewing during continuous bursts. Although the R3 series has always leaned towards still photography, the R3 Mark II is shaping up to be a formidable tool for videographers as well. Expect internal 6K or even 8K raw video recording, paired with 4K at 120fps and support for Canon Log 2 and 3 for professional-grade color grading. Advanced video features such as waveform monitoring, false color, zebra patterns, focus peaking, and timecode sync will likely be built in. Some rumors even suggest the inclusion of internal ND filters or support for modular accessories, blurring the lines between mirrorless stills cameras and full-fledged cinema gear. To support all this, Canon may implement active cooling allowing for longer raw recording sessions without thermal interruptions. This would position the R32 as a serious alternative to cinema-oriented hybrids like the Sony FX3, FX6, or Panasonic's Lumix S1H. Here's where things really separate. The Canon EOS R6 Mark III is aimed at a wide range of users, enthusiast photographers, event shooters, content creators, and hybrid YouTubers. With a projected price between $2,500 and $3,000, it provides top-tier features in a compact, travel-friendly package that doesn't require pro-level investment. It's ideal for those who want excellent image quality, advanced autofocus, and strong video features all in one body. Whether you're shooting weddings, portraits, travel content, or YouTube videos, the R63 promises versatility without compromise. In contrast, the Canon EOS R3 Mark II is built for full-time professionals who shoot under pressure. At an expected price point of $6,000 to $6,500, it's meant for Olympic-level sports photographers, wildlife experts, and field journalists who demand speed, durability, and reliability in the harshest conditions. This isn't the camera you take on vacation, it's the camera you trust in war zones, rainforests, stadiums, or political events where failure is not an option. In the end, both the Canon EOS R6 Mark III and the Canon EOS R3 Mark II serve as shining examples of Canon's commitment to innovation across user levels. The R6 III is a jack of all trades, a flexible, high-performance camera built for creators who value portability, advanced features, and affordability. The R3 II, meanwhile, is a specialized machine crafted for the highest levels of professional use, pushing the limits of what's possible in fast-action photography and pro-grade video. Despite their differences, both cameras are rumored to share improvements in Canon's dual pixel AF system, next-gen color science, and in body image stabilization. Whichever you choose, you'll benefit from Canon's consistent user experience, intuitive menus, and industry-leading lens ecosystem. Your decision ultimately comes down to this. Do you need versatility or dominance? Portability or power? Affordability or absolute precision? For most creators, the EOS R6 Mark III may be the sweet spot. For working professionals in high-stakes environments, the EOS R3 Mark II will likely be the only logical choice. Either way, Canon is not just releasing two new cameras, they're offering two distinct visions of photographic excellence, each engineered for a different kind of storyteller.